What's it like when a new boss walks in the front door? <laughs> Get off your Facebook page. Quit Twittering. Quit looking at Hawaii pictures. You know, whatever. You know, it's just like that. I knew that. I knew brand new battalion commander. I walk in the front door, hey, battalion, everybody's going to explode. Work's not going to get done for the next 10, 15 minutes. I didn't want that. So I knew where the back door was of the operation shop. So I came in the back door. It's an operation about the size of this stage. Everybody working, about 10, 12 folks working. And I'm standing at the back of the operation shop, and nobody's noticed me, and I'm just watching. And you can just tell, can't you? Walk into some of your branches and you go, whoa, these people got it going on. Other branches you walk in and go, nobody may get served today. <laughs> you with me? You seen that? I'm watching this operation shop and they are clicking. Efficient, effective, intense, but efficient, effective, they're making it go. So I'm watching that. Now, I had a pet peeve when I was in the Army. And it was if the phone rings more than three times. I get a little antsy. And one of the reasons probably was when I was getting raised, my dad was in a restaurant business, somebody's making a reservation, you don't answer the phone, you don't get paid. So I got like kind of intense about that. And when I was in the army and I'd go traveling around and I'd be deployed, if I couldn't call back to my headquarters and get an answer, I'd go, okay, if I can't get an answer, who else needs support that's not getting an answer? So it's always been a thing with me. So I'm there in the operations shop, this is 1993, pre-voicemail days in the Department of Defense. And I'm standing there watching and everybody's working. And I'm at a desk, and a phone in front of me starts ringing. There is nobody available to answer this phone. They are all busy. And we're going to miss somebody who needs something. I'm a helping kind of guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 701st Main Support Battalion, this is Lieutenant Colonel Bowles. You have the support operation shop. Can I help you? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, nervous. Poor kid probably wanted Corporal Jones, Private Smith. They got Colonel Bowles on the phone, for God's sake. This kid's probably never met a colonel. It's happened before. I say, hey, man, I was just going by helping out. I was picking up the phone. It rang. Just tell me what you need, and I'll get you to the right place. Oh, oh. Nervous. Nervous. Hey, I've done this before. Look, man, buddy, I want to talk to you about as bad as you want to talk to me, okay, because I'm new here, too. You just tell me what you need, and I'm going to get you one of the people here who can handle it. I heard him screw up his courage over the phone. He finally says, sir, this is Private First Class Burger. I'm supposed to call the operation shop whenever Colonel Bull shows up. <laughs> really? Stand by. <laughs> Our sergeants have this spidey sense. They start going, I miss Sergeant Cheney finally turns around and goes, Sir! I say, hey, Cheney. Yeah. Burger wants you to know Bowles is here. <laughs> now, that's pretty funny. Yeah. And you're getting a good laugh out of it. Yeah. And now we're going to talk about how come it's not funny. <laughs>